So water is always a good example. Right? So like Bruce Lee said, be like water. Because water has no mind. Right? So water by default is present, formless, and neutral. Okay. So then the question becomes, if I'm not going to use past experience, I'm not going to train technique, right? I'm not going to use my reflex or technique to, to, to act, especially in martial arts context, right? Then how am I going to do something? Because we still need to be able to, let's say, defend ourselves. Because we're talking about martial arts, right? So we just call it self-defense. So in that case, I still need to be able to finish a fight. So if I'm not going to use reflex, and I'm not going to use technique in order to finish the fight, then what am I going to be able to use? And essentially, that will come down to two things, tension and pressure. So it's internal tension and external pressure. So internal tension. Internal tension is basically that is our 13 points. Or you can say the 13 points defines internal tension. Is the, the balance of yin yang muscles pulling in the body. So that as I move, as I change, uh, the tension, the internal tension between the muscles, that, that, that interplay is changing. And I want to maintain a certain quality of that internal tension that is defined by the 13 points that we call the balance of macrocosmic. It's the, the overall balance of yin yang in the body. That as I move, that I'm always maintaining uh, the balance of the, uh, the yin yang muscles. The pressure, the external pressure. So in the solo exercises, we always have some external pressure. It's what? It's the ground. It's gravity and the pressure on our feet. So again, there's some overlap there with the 13 points because we're talking about the nine solid and one empty. And we're talking about the center of gravity force that is applying some external pressure or an external load to the body, in this case, at the bottom of the feet. With a, an opponent, a partner, then we have a point of contact now. So then from the point of contact, we have the cross that tells us what's happening with the pressure. And we have the relationship of circle to center, center to center, center with the cross. And just by simply observing the pressure, moment to moment, the pressure can tell us what to do. So water is always a good example. Right? So like Bruce Lee said, be like water. Because water has no mind. Right? So water by default is present, formless, and neutral is simply obeying the, the, in, the tension, the internal tension. So water has its own surface tension and the pressure, the external pressure of gravity. And as it's flowing from high pressure to low pressure, if there's an obstacle in the way, in other words, it's like something full, the water will flow around. If there's nothing in the way, so like we talk about that it's empty, the water can simply continue to flow through unless the water is so big, has so much force behind it, then full and empty anymore doesn't matter because it can just crash through. And so we want to develop that skill of being like water from that the point of contact tells me if this is full, I flow around. If it's not full, I just flow in. Or I already know that I have enough power that I can just crash through. Well, full or empty, then it doesn't matter anymore. I can just attack it directly. 
Uh, and again, it's the, the pressure is already there. It's just a matter of whether or not that you can observe it to know, to know full and empty, let's say, and to know whether you can just attack it, attack the fullness, or you need to flow around. Uh, so this is, again, is present formless and, and neutral. So it's how we want to tune our mind as we train that on the physical side of training, we have our diagnostic checklists. We have the checklist of the six physical principles. And we have the checklist of the 13 points to scan ourselves, to be observing the, the balance of the internal tension between the yin muscles, yang muscles. And then on the mental side, because we're talking at E, B, Chun, right? Mental, physical. So on the mental side now, we have the three mental factors to constantly uh, guide our training to use as a diagnostic checklist so that I can observe my mind while I train. Am I present? Am I formless? Am I neutral? Am I behaving like water right now? Is my mind like water? That I simply observe the, the pressure and the tension and I harmonize with the pressure and the tension? Or am I trying to do something? Does that make sense? Right. So it's in a lot of uh, martial arts, they talk about intent, right, or will. But in Ibi Chun, we talk about uh, the E as just being attention, like the mirror, right? That's just reflecting back what's in front of it. 